Leading competitor versus Amazon's Alexa, the Google Assistant Powered Home Mini offers an array of interactive skills and features that effectively rival Alexa, especially when it comes to price point. But even with the incentive of spending less money and having access to the many features Google Assistant has to offer, many users find themselves looking to trade in for a better model or brand, and a complete reset is necessary. Here's how. First, you need to figure out what generation of the Google Home Mini you own. If you're not sure, all you need to do is flip the speaker over. If there's a wall mount screw slot, it's a second gen model. No screw, it's a first gen. For the second gen, you should find a microphone on off switch on the side of the device. Be sure to flip it to off. The LED lights on the top of your speaker should pulse orange. Press and hold the center of the Nest Mini right where the lights are located. You'll hear a chime once and the reset is complete. After about five seconds, your device will automatically begin to factory reset. Once you hear the chime, the reset process is complete. For the first gen models, the reset button is located below the power cord on the bottom of your device. Press and hold the reset button until you hear the chime. It indicates that the factory reset has been completed. It's important to note that a factory reset cannot be performed with the Google Home app. Completing a factory reset will clear the data from the device and it will get the speaker ready for a new user. Now, if you simply need a reboot, all you need to do is try a simple power cycle. Begin by unplugging the device, leaving it unplugged for about one minute and then plugging it back in. You can also use the Google Home app and go to settings, then to device settings and pressing the more button. The more button is the three dots. Then you select reboot. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Ariel.